Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. We are about to head out to do something very exciting. I've been waiting for this for quite a while and it's finally happening. So we are gonna be picking up our stroller today for our baby girl. I'm so excited to finally get it because we ordered this maybe two, two and a half months ago or so. We wanted it in a specific color and it's finally here. So Mo and I are going to head out and also thought I would show you my outfit quickly before we leave. I'm wearing this all white little ensemble. It is very, very hot today, like 30 degrees or so. So I've just got on these little biker shorts. These are new from Fabletics. Just in a great classic white color. I love the high waistband and the pockets. And then this little top is from TNA, from Aritzia. And then this shirt I've been loving. This is from H&M. The material is a linen blend, so it's really nice for summer. I love like the casual feel of this. And it's nice and oversized as well. I've even worn this just as a dress at home and I love it. I would highly, highly recommend it. I'll have it linked for you guys down below. My bag is Chanel. And then another thing I'm loving right now are my new sneakers. These are from New Balance and I love the color and the design. So, so pretty. It's the first time that I'm wearing them today and I absolutely love them. I think they're so cool and kind of unique as well, but they're still like white and neutral, which is my favorite when it comes to shoes like this. I think it's just the easiest to style with um, lots of different things. And then for jewelry, these two dainty necklaces here are from Majuri, and then this chain necklace is from Misoma, as are my earrings. Sunglasses are Celine, and that is my look for today. Very comfy, but still feel like a bit put together. <laughs> Okay, here is our new stroller. It's so cute. Wow. So this is from Up a Baby. This is the Vista V2 stroller and the color is Declan. It's a nice like soft beige. This is the bassinet for newborn. And then it also comes with the, I think they call it the sports seat, which is in this bag right here. And what's really cool about this as well is that it's convertible. So you can actually put two seats on the stroller and you can also put a thing here that extends if you have a third and like everyone can fit. I'll put in a picture so you can see. So this is the sports seat. So this is for when I think over six months they can start using this. And then this is for right now. When she's a newborn, she can lay down. It looks really beautiful. Okay, we are back home and I've just put the stroller here in the nursery for the meantime. But I was just thinking, I love how it already goes so well with the theme of her room. And I just love how sleek it is, the color is beautiful, and it's a very well-rated stroller as well. So I will have this link down below for you guys if you want to check it out. And I'm gonna put all of the parts of the stroller in the wardrobe here. Like the sports seat and the ring cover, it has like a few little accessories. So all of that is gonna go here in this closet and as we're here thought it would be fun to share just a few little updates here in the nursery that i am so excited about and i do eventually want to do a full nursery tour and take you guys through like all of the areas but something very exciting that we did a couple of days ago is put up the shelves and the mirror over her dresser and i think it came out so so cute. These shelves are from Zara Home from the kids section. They're these really nice wooden shelves with this 
um, little bar here that I've actually seen people also use on the other side. So you could flip these and hang um, things from this bar and then just place things on this part right here. So you could hang it either way. And I've just put a few little books on there, some little decor pieces. I'll probably play around with this a little bit more, but already I think it looks so cute. And then this mirror, this is from West Wing. It's also like has a, a wooden finish and I thought it went really well here in the room. And it sits right here on top of the changing mat, which is this nice um, squishy one that is very easy to clean. I put a little light here as well, which has this really nice texture. And this is also like a little night light. And then on this side, we've got a wipes warmer and a little basket, which I just have some little toys and um, like lovies in but eventually we will have diapers in here and um, diaper cream and things like that for changing but yeah so exciting that these two bits are finally up because they were sitting on the floor for a while <laughs> and yeah, it just feels really good to have that done and it just feels like the nursery is really coming together It is a new day and I'm sitting here on my birth ball, which I love. It feels so, so good on my hips, my pelvis. I've actually been using this as much as I can in place of a chair or when I'm getting ready in the morning because I do my makeup here. Also, whenever I'm getting ready in the mornings, I love to listen to something uplifting, something inspirational or educational, something that is just going to put me in a good headspace for the day. I love podcasts for this or audiobooks, YouTube videos, and I also love to learn and do different courses and classes. So you guys probably know I've been taking two different birth courses. One is the Built to birth course by Bridget Taylor and then I'm also taking the positive birth companies course I'll have both of them linked down below but just really educating myself I just find it so empowering to learn from experts and it just calms my mind a lot like especially when it comes to the topic of birth and labor and all of that. So I love doing things like that when I'm like doing my makeup or going for walks. And right now I'm actually taking a personal development class from Nidra Tawab. She is an author, a therapist. It's about really building a life that you love. She does seven different exercises within the class. She talks a lot about confidence, looking at our patterns, a lot about mindset. And I just love her energy and the way that she teaches the class. She does also have a really popular Instagram as well, which I will have linked down below. That's actually how I found out about her. And her class is on Skillshare. The title is Reach Your Goals, Seven Personal Development Exercises to Build a Life You Love. I think this class is also really nice for right now. We are in the middle of the year. So if you had like really big goals and things that you wanted to achieve this year, and maybe you need some like mid-year inspiration and ideas on how to really achieve those things then I think this class could be really really helpful and Skillshare in general is one of my favorite platforms when it comes to learning and inspirational content it is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves learning they have really great classes on productivity entrepreneurship photography graphic design even some really great lifestyle classes like how 
to care for plants, cooking classes, interior design classes. There's so much to explore on Skillshare. So whether you want to learn about something specific or just explore your creativity, there are so many different classes to choose from. You can also connect with like-minded people. They're kindly working with me on this video, which means that I also have a really great offer for you. So the first 1,000 people to click the link down below in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. You can take any class that you want and start investing in yourself, in your personal growth. Again, I'll have the link down below for you in the description box along with the name of the class that I'm taking. So I am done getting myself ready, just very casual today. I have a friend coming over in a little bit for lunch. I think I'm gonna make us some salmon and I got some really nice kale the other day. So I'm probably gonna do like a kale salad salmon and then we'll probably go out on a walk a little bit later because the weather is so pretty today and it's not too too hot and she's also coming over with her son who is now a year and a half we might go to a playground as well and then later on this afternoon i'm so excited i have a prenatal massage booked i'm really really looking forward to that it's always just such a a treat i want to make sure that i'm doing a lot of those relaxing things in these last few weeks of being pregnant but yeah that is the plan for today i'm gonna get started now on my lunch <music> So I actually started by making us some super simple banana oat cookies. I love this recipe so much, it's so easy. So you just mash up three ripe bananas, you add in one egg and mix that around, and then one and a half cups of oats. And that's it. Then if you want, you could add some cinnamon, vanilla, chocolate chips, chopped nuts, whatever you like. I did some cinnamon, vanilla, and chocolate chips. And then just mix all of that together. And here I'm using an ice cream scooper to portion out the cookie dough. And you just wanna let this bake in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes at around 175 degrees Celsius, which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And they turn out so, so delicious. So as those are baking, I'm preparing our actual lunch. So I'm starting with rinsing some kale. I'm gonna make a really yummy massaged kale salad, which I've been very into lately. So I'm just washing off the kale and then separating the leaves from the stems, giving it all a little chop. You don't have to make it too small, but just like into bite-sized pieces. And then I'm adding in the juice of one lemon and half of an avocado. I've also done this with olive oil, which works really great as well. So it just depends what you prefer. And then with a clean hand, I'm just thoroughly massaging the kale with that lemon and avocado. And this really helps the kale to become softer and also easier to digest as well. And then just adding in some sliced cherry tomatoes and cucumbers to that, a little sprinkle of sunflower and pumpkin seeds, some salt and pepper, and that's it. And to go with that, I'm making my classic roasted salmon recipe, which is such a staple, and my friend actually loves whenever I make this. So I made sure to make it today. So I just drizzle the salmon fillets with some olive oil, tamari sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, and some salt and pepper. And then this will bake in the oven for about 20 minutes at around 180 degrees Celsius. And it literally turns out so perfect every time. I would highly recommend trying this out. This was such a nice combination with the kale salad and the cookies turned out amazing as well.
Good morning, guys. It is a new day. I am currently in the car. I have a few errands to run this morning. I'm actually picking up my new passport today. It's going to have my new full name in it, too, with Mo's last name. So we combined our names, or my name. And then I have a doctor's appointment. I am now 35 weeks and i think now i'm gonna have to start going more frequently i think it's every week or every two weeks up until the baby comes they want to like monitor that you are still dilated i guess things that pertain a lot to labor if the baby's dropped and things like that also next week i have my maternity shoot and i've been putting together like inspiration images of the kind of style and direction of what I want. I have a few ideas in mind and a few different like looks that I could wear um, but one of them requires like a blazer like a black kind of oversized blazer which I don't have so I think I'm going to pop in to Zara after my doctor's appointment and see what they have and also one of the things I want to wear is like a slouchy pair of jeans with no tops just kind of like holding my chest and then have like slouchy jeans unbuttoned of course because of the belly so i'm gonna see if i can find something like that at zara as well probably include some of the footage from the shoot but not in this video because this is going to go up before but when we're at the shoot i think it's going to be a really fun thing to do and mo is going to be there as well there's a few shots that i want for us to have together but yeah anyway i'll keep you guys posted on that in another vlog now i have to get going i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit home now and relaxing i'm gonna take a shower in a little bit have a really nice chilled evening actually have my evening routine coming up next which i'm really excited to share with you guys that will be up on sunday but yeah i wanted to wrap up this vlog everything went well today i actually found a few really great pieces at zara so i'm gonna take those to the shoot but really looking forward to that and having some of those pictures in the nursery and her baby book and just like document this very special time but anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always make sure to check the description box down below for links recipes any products or items that i mentioned or showed i'll try to have as many things linked for you as i can down below in the description box i hope that you're all having a beautiful day thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys